Good morning and welcome back to another morning devotional. My name is Matthew Johnson and I am the pastor at Glencoe United Methodist Church and I am glad you are joining us this morning on this rainy day. I hope that this video finds you well and that you are staying safe and healthy during this time of separation and uncertainty. I also hope and pray that if you are in need or have your needs not being met, please contact me so that way I can try to do what I can to help you. I don't know everything. I don't have all the resources, but it's called asking. I can ask people that might. So if you do need help or need something, please let me know and I will try to do what I can to help. Also, I want to remind you that this Thursday we have our Bible study starting and it is on a book called Everything Happens for a Reason and Other Lies I Have Loved by Kate Bowler. And we're going to discuss the book in collaboration with scripture and it's going to be a good, good conversation together. The Bible study itself is going to be over Zoom. I have already sent out some instructions about what Zoom is, how to download it, and then today I'm going to be sending out the official invite for the meeting itself. Please let me know if you have any interest in that at the email below. I've already gotten everything set up and ready to go. However, if you still want to add, there is time. You just need to buy the book. Um, there On Amazon, you can do the Kindle version, so you don't have to actually wait on a book to be delivered, or you can buy a hard copy, but it won't be here until after our first session together. In addition to that, if you're going to attend to this first session, please read the preface and chapter one in preparation for our first session together. That way we can have a fruitful conversation in light of the book. We want to make sure that we are knowing what's going on in the book as well as reflecting on it in our own personal lives as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with our lesson today, which comes from something that we don't read very often as Protestants, which is the Apocrypha, or the Deuterocanonical texts. In particular, we're going to be reading from Baruch chapter 3, verses 24 through 37. Hear now the Word of God. O Israel, how great is the house of God! How vast is the territory that He possesses! It is great and has no bounds. It is high and immeasurable. The giants were born there who were famous of old, great in stature, expert in war. God did not choose them or give them the way to knowledge, so they perished because they had no wisdom. They perished through their folly. Who has gone up into heaven and taken her and brought her down from the clouds? Who has gone over the sea and found her and will buy her for her? pure gold. No one knows the way to her or is concerned about the path to her, but the one who knows all things knows her. He found her by his understanding, the one who prepared the earth for all time, filled it with four-footed creatures, the one who sends forth the light, and it goes. He called it, and it obeyed him, trembling. The stars shone in their watches and were glad. He called them, and they said, here we are. They shone with gladness for him who made them. This is our God. No other can be compared to him. He found the whole way to knowledge and gave her to his servant Jacob and to Israel whom he loved. Afterward, she disappeared on earth and lived with humankind. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Now, when we're reading texts from the Deuterocanonical text or the Apocrypha, as Protestants, we look at it and think about how we do not consider this as part of the Bible's canon. In other words, this is not our typical scripture. However, in the Catholic traditions, they do count this as parts of scripture. And so I wanted to include it to today because we don't look at these texts very often as Protestants, and there's still a lot of rich material that we can gain and gather from it. When we read this today, we need to think about this idea of who God is and what and where God is and what God has done. In this text here, it talks about, O Israel, how great is the house of God, 
how vast the territory that he possesses. When it's talking about that, it's talking about the cosmos. The, all of creation is the house of God, not just the temple. It's expanding the, beyond the temple in this instance. And that is an amazing depiction because if you think about it, if you read the Torah, you, the first five books of the Old Testament, you read about God being in a certain place with certain people. And that is critical because this kind of says, no, God is everywhere because the house of God is all of creation. And so it goes beyond a certain small location and it expands that out. And then you have this notion of wisdom and how knowledge and wisdom is given to humanity. We cannot obtain knowledge or get to heaven ourselves, but a gift from God and that it came to earth and lives with us in, as humankind. It dissipated amongst us. And this is a, a gift. And we find that wisdom is not to be attained. We cannot attain it as human beings, but because of God giving it to us, we have the opportunity to have wisdom in our lives. And though we will never fully attain wisdom, because we're not God, we're not the divine, we strive to attain it. And that gift from God helps us grow in the process. So what I want to leave you with today is this idea of where are you growing in your life? Where are you seeking out wisdom or knowledge that God would have you to learn? Where are you learning how to live more like God rather than like yourself or as a human being? Where are you trying to live more holy rather than more sinful? Are you practicing spiritual disciplines and following certain principles that God would have you to follow? Or are you putting your own selfishness and greed in place of that? During these times, we must stick together, yes, but we also can take time to ourselves and to grow and learn and to be more like God, to strive towards that wisdom. Because if you sit long enough in silence in your thoughts and talk to God, God will speak back in some way and help you grow and help you obtain wisdom over time. Or some sort of wisdom because if we follow what this says wisdom will never fully be attained because we are not god go in peace friends serve the lord always stay safe and thanks be to god <laughs>